So when we left off, we left off with a bunch of red. You never want to do that for multiple reasons. But anyway, let's go ahead and save this. So control S and red disappears. All right, it was all based on that return that was set up before without the return. And so it's not showing anything on our site. That's not exactly what we wanted, right? So how do we get this component into the rest of our project? So if I go back to that app.tsx, that's what's dictating all this stuff that's going on right now. And so instead of that, what I'm going to go in and return is just this new component that I've made. So I come in and say, I want to use the header tag, right? The header component. So as I hover over it, it's going to say, I don't know what that means because header is not in this folder. So um, if I hover over this and I say, what's the quick fix? It says, do you want to import from the header? And the answer is yes, I do actually. So I'm going to go import that which is going to go grab that header TSX file. And you can see it's going back up to the root of the source and grabbing that header. And now it recognizes what header is. And if I save it, then it pops up my, my header, which is very anticlimactic. I wanted this to look a little bit better at least. All right, let's see if we can make this look a little bit better. And is it even using React? But let's go back to our header TSX file. So header and I'll, I'll give it a little bit better information. So it is a row, but we also want it to be a, let's make it a nav bar, nav bar dark. I'm so terrible at design, you know this. And I'll say the background of it is gonna be dark so we can kind of get some contrast between that and, and then the, oh, I made this a div. That was a mistake, me hurrying. I wanted this to be an H1 tag, so H1. The div, okay, I was I was mashing things up here. So I did want a div tag, but this was supposed to go in between here as an h1 tag. And so we'll take this code, drag it in there, the div. Okay, this is what I wanted so that it was separated out in two different, this was gonna take up four, this was gonna take up the other eight. So let's see with the control S there, if that fixes it. Okay, I'm still not getting my background though. And this did to me, I, I don't think this is using Bootstrap. And so let's make sure we've got that set up right. Um, how can I test that out in an easy way? Yeah, we can get rid of this. We're not using that logo. So is Bootstrap even getting into my, let me just put a paragraph in here just to see in the header tell a little easier with that text. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Yeah, that's definitely not, well, not definitely not. I mean, it is using the, the layout with the columns. So maybe it is, but why is my background not dark? Let's see. This was not in the notes, by the way. This is not one of these purposeful me saying, hey, well, there is a class name called header. That didn't change a thing. Um, again, I don't wanna spend a ton of time on this, and this is where my terrible design comes into play um, because it's more about dropping the component on the screen that's gonna stay all the time. Let me see if I can figure it out quick and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Let's add in a background, so BG dark, which is gonna fix that problem. It should make it dark, but then we can't see our text. And so we're gonna add into the H1, let's add a class name um, equals, and then text white. All right, so save that. All right, this is, <laughs> it's so bad, but we're moving on. Okay, so we've got a little uh, nav bar here at the top. It's, it's gonna go, it's a component that we can now use on every page that we want to, that can carry across every page. So we're gonna build each thing now as a component on the screen and then place them all together to make our actual page that we want to display. All right. And just emphasizing one little point here is that each of these functions um, can have 
uh, properties associated with them. And so if I wanted to vary what's said in here based on which page I'm in, when I call this header tag, I can, and this again, I'm, I'm doing this mainly just to prove this point, not that we need to do it here, is as in the app file, I call this header tag. I could make up a property here that I want to say this is going to be the title. So the title is going to be equal to uh, full stack react and dot net. And maybe I'll say ASP.net just to, to make this you know stand out. So I save this. And of course, it's going to get an error because there is nothing set up to receive it on the other side. And so on the other side, on the header side, I can say, hey, I'm going to get some properties in here. And I can just put an any for now, which just is like a miscellaneous, it's like using a var. It's going to just allow for whatever. And then I say, hey, there's going to be some properties coming in. And then here, I can, instead of printing that out directly, I can say, let's go to the props and go get the title element and that's what we'll use to print this out. So now if I save this and go back here and save that, um, now what's my save all? Save all control K S. So control K S. Um, what is it not liking? Unterminated string constant. Oh, absolutely right. Right you are, okay, control save. And now it puts in that title, but it's dropping it in by virtue of a property. I've created a property here as part of this tag that I'm setting equal to full, st full stack react in ASP.NET. Okay, so I'm setting that title and then on the header side, I've set up some properties so that that title can come in um, almost like the view bag that we've used uh, in, in .NET. And that's going to drop in the title right there that's printing out that. Okay. Well, our next task is going to be to go set up our back end. And we'll start that in the next set of videos. Spencer out.